Welcome to Homeownership H4T. Uh, guys, as you can see, I got a clog in this tub. And let's talk about that for a little bit. Okay, so I've been in this house since the beginning of April. That's when I bought it. And everything has been fine. Drains have been fine. Everything was good. Uh, drains were tested by my inspector before I even bought the house. He turned on basically every faucet in the house and let it run for 20 minutes to see if anything would back up. Everything was good. So under the sink, I found this. It's a drain care product. And what it is, it's an enzyme. It's a natural enzyme, non-chemical drain product that you put in the drain and it's basically a, a bacteria and you put it down in there with warm water and it naturally just eats anything that's on the pipes and it's a maintenance it's like a drain maintenance thing okay i had no problems with this tub and i thought you know what i don't know when this has been done before so let me go ahead and do maintenance on this drain and it said do it for three days and i just did two you put a scoop into 16 ounces of water warm water, pour it down there, and the bacteria and the enzymes does what it has to do in the warm water. Okay, so, you know, I had been using this tub. So, this is the day after I used the second treatment. Uh, come in here to take a shower today. And the drain just locks up on me. I mean, I'm just standing in water that's not even, it's not even slow, it's not even a slow drain. It just straight up completely stopped. So I'm like, what in the world is going on? Now that yellowish color you see down there, that's not the tub, I assure you, my tub is very clean. That is what I just put in there a little while ago. I waited all day to see if this would, you know, drain and it still had standing water and I bailed most of it out. I just used this. I put in half the bottle, I waited 15 minutes, nothing happened. I put in uh, the other half of the bottle Actually, I waited a half hour. Then I put in the other half of this whole 80 ounce bottle. And then I waited about 45 minutes and I ran as hot a water as I could get out of here down that drain uh, for a while. And as you can see, I've got no movement. So happy birthday week to me. My birthday is June 6th. Uh, and I'm probably going to have to pay probably at least $100, if not more. So I'm probably going to get on Craigslist and call a plumber. I don't have a snake, guys, unfortunately, but uh, there's a very short run under this tub in the basement. Uh, that It's a very short run that goes to the main drain, and the main drain is fine, and it's just some PVC pipe. It, it looks like a job that wouldn't be too hard, but I'm not a plumber. <laughs> so, it, and it's newer. The PVC pipe that comes down from this drain is all newer. It's all newer stuff down there. And like I said, there's only about a four-foot run until it runs into the main drain. So somewhere, um, you know, between here and the main drain, that four foot of space, there's a problem. And like I said, I'm going to, nothing happened in here except for me using this twice. And this has worked for me every single day. So I'm going to have to blame this somehow. So, you know, I don't know what it did. Uh, I don't know if it ate off some stuff that was in the pipes and that clogged up, but um, that old saying has come into my mind a lot today, and that saying is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, because I wish that I never even would have touched this. I'm going to throw this away. Just wish I never even would have touched that stuff. So there it is, guys. Um, <laughs> this is going to cost me a little bit, I guarantee it, probably. So, all right, guys, well, that's home ownership in the big city, right? <laughs> All right, guys, uh, just want to make a little video about that. If any of you got any tips, I don't think there's anything I can do, really. But if you do have anything, any miracle tip I can do, let me know. But other than that, I'm kind of stuck. So, all right, guys, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an update after I get this fixed. And I'll let you know what, what the problem was, how much it cost me, and uh, we'll cry together. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll talk to you real soon. Got a lot of parts coming from my G26. Customize it out. I'm going to show you... Uh, what you should do to your G26 and G27 to make it rock. All right, guys, until next time, H4T, clogging up them drains, and I'm out.